Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you a few trades posted on Tuesday, January 10th, 2023. Uh, this trade was shared by Yasin, who's trading S&P 500. His macro five minute chart is showing breakout toward uptrend, and you can see the uptrend channel is forming now. And you can see that in one minute the structural chart, and uh, you see the channel and the pullback got completed and the price broke also the sideway channel uh, and retracement and he used 10 second charts as a trading chart to get the pullback and also using algo 1 to 5 and entry signal entered here at this point with two targets target 1 here and exit strategy 2 with target 2 here and uh, close both with profit so thank you, Yasin, for sharing your trades with us. The next trade was shared by MF, who's trading EURUSD. And as you see, the macro chart uh, of 30 minutes is kind of a sideways uh, consolidation. The major trend is uptrend. You can see in five minutes that this level of the uptrend is gaining momentum. It still has to clear several levels but there is a small uh, opportunity to take pullback for a quick scalp and take a profit till the next level of resistance. So that's what he did and entered the trade uh, when the breakout completed in this channel and with multiple targets, he entered here, two targets and is going now uh, to play the video, I think. So we see the video of the live trades, first target reached and the stop loss was broke even and exit with uh, some profit here with trailing a stop. So thank you MF for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades were shared by Yan, our global instructor trading NASDAQ derivatives. And as you see here, the macro chart is in sideways wide range and highly volatile. So the price is testing a value high area and the price seems to not be able to break that level and is getting rejected. So uh, now he's gonna short this area when he see the sellers are coming back and the uh, price is falling and gaining momentum uh, toward the downtrend channel. And these are his live trades recorded. And let's see how the ATM managed the trades. So some close with profit, some with trailing a stop. Another entry now. Looks like the sellers are getting uh, stronger. So the next trade is kind of a still choppy and another pullback opportunity. This may really become a good runner now. Looks like the order flow shows that the sellers are getting uh, strong. We will see what happened to this. If this level breaks, the price will go down significantly. It broke now, and we see if it's going to retest the previous support area. It's still choppy. Another pullback. And this one closed. So the result from all these trades are shown here. Uh, that he reached profit factor of 4.7 with 85% win rate and average win to loss ratio which was close to 0.8 and the largest winning trade and losing trade was 170 and 130. So thank you Yan for sharing your trades with us. So these are some of my trades at the beginning of New York market session. As uh, you see the macro chart is very choppy because the Fed chairman is uh, speaking. Uh, then when the volatility calmed down and the price tested around 11,150 level, I took some long positions using NQ, uh, which is the NASDAQ in mini futures, and also several positions using micro NASDAQ futures, as you see here. And all these trades were copied by a copy trader to multiple combined accounts, and their results are shown here. Uh, the profit factor was 7.5 with about 80% win rate 
and also the average wind to loss ratio of about 1.9 and uh, about equal amount of winning and losing largest trades around 220. So thanks for your attention and hope these trades taken by the PAT system is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.